That is the hottest hand of the round, thanks to Crown. No surprise, it's Connor Rosie. He's a favourite of yours, isn't he, Lee? Oh, he absolutely is. I mean, his first half is as good as I've seen a midfielder play, to be honest. I mean, 20 disposals and three goals. Like, what more can you do? Uh, but it's the way he can run away from the congestion is what impresses me the most. Great ball skills. He's good in, to in tight and close as well. But when he's got to accelerate away from the congestion, it's like Chris Judd used to be able to do. Well, there's not many midfielders have got that enormous burst of acceleration. So Rosie's got it. He's a wonderful young bloke. When he was appointed captain, he's only just turned 24. That's quite young to be appointed a captain. He's certainly not been weighed down by it. He's, uh, he's really uh, going well. You throw in Butters as well, Lee, who's, who's dynamic from yeah. uh, stoppage as well. Horn Francis, just as powerful. And then you've got Willem Drew, who gets uh, unnoticed by a lot of people doing the, the tough jobs. That's a pretty powerful midfield. Yeah, is, it, is it the best engine room in the league, yep. Lee? Oh, well, as good as. I mean, well, to be honest, when you think Rosie and Butters are as good as there is and Horn Francis might be that way <laughs> as he gets, gets better and Drew's good, yeah, I'd be happy to say they're the best, uh, the best three or four in the league. And now finally you're starting to see why I've got them as my flag in the ground I've had them as my premiers <laughs> since the start of the season, Lee. Finally, maybe you can change them next week and have four changes in five weeks. Uh, now it is Tyler. I've got to be careful here with Lee because he's in the studio next week. This is the lips of lethal. Don't you Lynch can't manufacture a mark. Akamatis, left foot snap. Akamatis has kicked a goal. Let me talk about Gather Round. Uh, I think it should be an annual event. I mean, Adelaide is an ideal city, I think, to have the 18 teams there all at once, and more importantly, the people who go over. Some, they'd say it's 40, 50, 60,000 people may have come into Adelaide for the, uh, for the weekend. So just fantastic. But you can't have your cake and eat it too. The two Adelaide teams can't continue to get an extra home state game just because it's gather round. And because, oh, yeah, we already want the two showdowns. Well, that's great. If you want gather round, one of the showdowns should be part of, the, part of gather round because I tell you what, the other 16 clubs in the competition, they don't mind going... They, they'll accept going to get the gather round, but they're not going to accept that continually that Port and Crow get a, Crows get an extra home game. Lee... I fundamentally disagree with you. The AFL Grand Final was played at the MCG no matter what. The fixture is unequal regardless. Surely, if Gather Round, a big part of it is about the money, you want to maximise it by having Adelaide play one game and Port playing another game. Would it make that much difference, seriously? I mean, with the Adelaide and Port play two games where there was 50,000 high 40s. Collingwood played today and there was mid-40s or something. So I understand the principles, the marketing part of it, but the clubs, the football departments of the clubs, I mean, one win or one loss, and you win at home about 60% of the time. So it gives you an enormous advantage if you're playing at home, that extra game, as Port and the Crows are getting at the moment. And all this other stuff about, yeah, the MCG is where the Grand Falls, but all that stuff, this is a new feature. And again, the footy departments of the clubs are not happy <laughs> that, that this current situation is in place. I'm a lot more simple uh, than that, Tom. It's never going to be equal while you've got 18 teams in a 24-week season. Yeah. And you start to touch on it. Every, uh, interstate teams get true home ground advantage for 11 to 12 uh, games a year, yeah. but yet uh, tenants of the M MCG get to play 16 to 17 games there. The grand finals there. There's different shaped grounds, you name it. Uh, some teams play poorer teams twice. Until you play each other once or you play each other twice, it's yeah. never going to be fair. And that's probably not going to happen for a very long time.